गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट मेगा स्पोरोफिल इट इज द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव वर्ल्ड ऑफ अ फ्लावर इज नोन एज द गाइनोशियम विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ यूनिट स्ट्रक्चर कॉल कार्पल और सिंगल इट इज नोन एज पिस्टल ए कार्पल नॉर्मली कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री मॉर्फोलॉजिकली एंड फंक्शनली डिस्टिंग पार्ट द स्टिग्मा स्टाइल एंड द ओवरी Stigma is the apical knob-like structure on which pollen grains are deposited after pollination. Style is the long tubular part that joins the stigma with the ovary. Ovary is the basal, swollen and fertile part of the carpel. The ovary may be unilocular as in case of compositi and cucurbitaceae, bilocular as in solanaceae, trilocular as in liliaceae. pluriocular as in malvaceae the ovule or the integumented megasporangium are found in the ovary part of the carpel the ovule or the megasporangium arises from the placenta and the arrangement of the ovule in an ovary is called placentation example marginal placentation in case of leguminosae parietal placentation in case of brassicaceae एक्साइल प्लेसेंटेशन इन सोलेनेसी मालवेसी लिलियसी बेसल प्लेसेंटेशन इन कॉम्पोजिटी एंड सुपरफिशियल प्लेसेंटा इन इम्फेसी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ओव्यूल द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ओव्यूल द ओव्यूल इज अटैच इन द ओव्यूल इज अ स्मॉल ओवल स्ट्रक्चर अटैच टू द प्लेसेंटा by a short stalk or funicle or it comprises of a central mass of tissue called nucellus which remains surrounded by one or two layer of protective cells called integument the point of attachment of funicle to the ovule body is termed as the hilum in case when the ovule is inverted its body fuses with the funicle forming a ridge like structure called raphe raphe extend towards and fuses with the nucellus and the integument to form the chalaza integument nucellus remain surrounded by the integument except in the micropylar region ovule which in which integuments are present are known as tegmic type whereas ovule lacking integuments are called as ategmic type as found is loranthus and solanum and ovule if surrounded by one integument it is called unitegmic ovule and if by two integument is bitegmic type unitegmic ovule generally found in the member of gametophyte as in compositi while bitegmic in polypetaly and monocot in certain case a third integument or aril develop as a funicular outgrowth from the base of the ovule in litchi the aril is fleshy and form the edible part of the fruit in castor the cells of the integument near the micropyle divide and enlarge to form carnicle carnicle is the micropylar outgrowth of the integument but in some time time th- uh, it is also known as the third integument in asphodelus a member of liliaceae the third in- integument is called arm in member of sympetaly possessing unitegmic ovule the nucellus degenerate at an early stage and the inner integument become highly specialized to form a single or multilayer endothelium the endothelium consists of radially elongated cell rich in cytoplasm protein rna carbohydrate as- ascorbic acid etc functionally endothelium is similar to tapetum that is it provide nourishment to the embryo sac hence sometime also call integumentary tapetum a significant feature of endothelium is that the cell exhibit polyploidy which may be as high as 32 n as found in the pedicularis micropyle the integument surrounds the nucleus nucellus except in the terminal region where an opening is left 
known as the micropyle in both the integuments are involved the opening formed by the outer integument is called the exo exostome while form that formed by the inner integument is called by, is known as the endostome within the micropyle are deposited synergies synthesize chemotropic agent which stimulate the entry of the pollen tube obturator in certain ovules obturator are found these are associated with the directing the growth of the pollen tube toward the micropyle these may be a multicellular with a granular hair as in tragonium a considerable variation in the origin of morphology anatomy and extent of development of orbitator is found there may arise from the placenta or funicle or from both and produce a surface exudate which is nutritive and provide a mechanical and chemical guide to the pollen tube classification of ovule the mature ovule may be classified into six type on the basis of the position of micropyle in relation to funicle they are orthotropous also called atropous the mature ovule is straight and the micropyle and funicles funiculus are in a straight line and above the hilum as found in the member of polygynacy and piperacy anatropous ovule also called inverted it is the most common type of ovule found in angiosperm and is a characteristics of sympetely the ovule bend at 180 degree and get inverted so that the micropyle come to lie to the funicle third of type of ovule is the campylotropus where the ovule form a curvature is curvature uh, but the curvature is incomplete and the body of the ovule lies at right angle to the funiculus and is sometimes curved as in the capridaceae and leguminaceae fourth is the amphitropous ovule when the curvature of the body of the ovule become more than the campylotropus and the embryo sac assume a horseshoe shape the ovule is said to be amphitropous type it is commonly found is elismaceae and butaceae fifth type of ovule is hemianatropous type also called as hemianatropous it is a modified type of anatropous ovule in which the body of the ovule lie at right angle to the funicle and the micropyle and chalaza lie in a straight line the micropyle is not found near the hilum example ranunculus and and, and in the members of primulaceae sixth type of ovule is cisnotropous type it is a special type of ovule formed due to the unilateral growth initially the nuclear mass is in the line with the funicular funicle and appear orthotropous then unilateral growth of the ovule takes place and it get inverted thus become anatropous the curvature continue till the ovule takes a complete 360 degree turn and the micropyle again face upward example open shear thank you